Hey guys, welcome to your career and money reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your uh, rest of your July from the uh, 16th for whenever, for the rest of July. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in your career and your money. And then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, what else? Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Quick note, I'm not taking any personal pre-recorded readings, only virtual, okay? So uh, tell me about Taurus. Taurus. What's going on with Taurus in their career and their money? What's going on with Taurus in their career and their money for the rest of, the, for the rest of their July? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Taurus. Six of Cups and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. I feel like there's a sense of wanting to go back to something here that you've always wanted to do. With the Knight of Pentacles here, you know, I feel like you are in this like daily grind thing. You're tired, you're exhausted here, and I feel like you're about to just let it go or just drop this and move back towards something in the past that you've always wanted to do. And, and I feel like this is an opportunity for you to do that. There is a strong pull to do something that you've always had the desire to do here, okay? Now, this could be, you know, perhaps with the Six of Cups, working with children, perhaps with a strength card. This is like, you know, maybe working in the beauty industry or something like that, or products, uh, creating beauty products or something like that, or doing something in health and fitness, okay? You know, such as, you know, being, um, you know, perhaps being, uh, you know, a yoga instructor or a fitness instructor here with a Queen of Cups here and the Emperor. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Emperor, Aries energy. This is so interesting. You know, whatever is going on here, whatever you're feeling here regarding your current work situation right now, it's not, I wouldn't say it's terrible, but I feel like someone is seeing your dissatisfaction or that they're seeing you unhappy or that you and your coworkers here or maybe your boss are not on the same page here, okay? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Emperor, Aries, Energy, the Six of Cups here, and the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, the Strength card here, and then Eight of Wands. There's a strong desire to leave a situation, to go back to a past situation where you had some sort of passion or desire to do something in the past here, okay? The Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Knight of Pentacles here, and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Ten of Wands here, and the Two of Swords. You're wondering if you're making the right decision here. Yeah, you're wondering if you're making the right decision here. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It seems like, you know, Taurus, you could be in this energy of like going back and forth. You know, you're going back and forth, but also at the same time, there's a strong desire, there's a strong pull to move back towards something that you've always wanted to do, okay? Whatever that might look like to you. I mean, some of the stuff that I listed were, uh, you know, certain things I was picking up. It doesn't have to be those things. It could be anything, anything, okay? So, uh, Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Emperor, and the Five of Cups. This is so interesting. I don't know if you stayed in a, I don't know if this work situation that you've been in here had something to do with like a parent. Maybe they expected you to, you know, get these, uh, get like a high paying job or like a well-known job such as like lawyer or doctor or something like that, or, you know, a high business job or something like that but i do feel like you're trusting your own intuition and i feel like you might disappoint like a parent or something like that 
maybe it's like almost like carrying this person, uh, this parent's legacy. Now, like this could be in business, or that this parent could have could be working or was working in the same industry as you, and that's what was expected, right? So let's see. What else do we have here for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to look out for? Work on here for the um, rest of their July from the 16th to the. 31st. I don't know how many days are in July, but for the rest of July, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We had a ton of pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune here. So if you if you do go back to a, a past opportunity here, I do feel like it's going to be, re be really great and really abundant here for you, Taurus, okay? Wheel of Fortune and a ton of pentacles here, but we have the Devil and the Tower. Ooh, you're about to receive a huge blessing from the universe here. Yeah, you could be in a work situation where it could be pretty toxic here. It could be that, you know, if it's not toxic, it could be a situation with that, that you are tied to these perception of others, like what others have expected of you. And I feel like you're trying to break that, okay? The devil, Capricorn energy, the tower, Aries, Scorpio. We have the hermit here and the eight of pentacles here. Virgo energy. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're going on your soul's path now. And what, and just, just not going by what others have expected of you. So I feel like you're making that huge shift. Yeah, you're doing something for yourself here. Ten of Pentacles here and the Two of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune here and the Hierophant here. Taurus energy. There you are right here. You're definitely being called back. You're definitely being called back. There is a second opportunity here for something in the past that you've always wanted to do. I feel like maybe it was like frowned upon. You know, it's kind of like, let's say for example, you're interested in art, you want to be an artist and your parents were like, why would you do that? You, you know, you don't make any money in art. You know, so I feel like you're, you know, I feel like someone's parent expected them to get this high paying job or this like fabulous degree, right? Higher fit Taurus energy here, the devil. We have the Four of Wands, the Tower, and the Hangman. So any sort of these, these expectations of you from others, I feel like you're letting that go. Yeah, you're letting all that go here. I do feel like, you know, some of you guys might have come from like a very traditional family where, you know, you might have come from a family of doctors or a family of engineers or a family of scientists. But, you know, I feel like you're trying to step out of something, something that you just don't feel like it's your jam, okay? And I feel like you want to do something for yourself. Yeah, maybe some of you guys have been interested in fashion in the, in the past and you wanted to go into the fashion industry. So we have the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, there's a sense of walking away from something here. Yeah, Ten of Swords and ending some sort of employment that you've been at for a long time and moving back towards something in the past that you've always wanted to do. All right, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.